What's going on YouTube? This is just going to be a small epic pickups. Epic because I found a game that is considered to be like a rare game and I found it for real cheap. Um, yeah, let me just get into it. Let me just show you this. Before I show the games, let me show you some other stuff I, I copped. I got Marvel Comics calendar um i bought this one because you know i really need a calendar and usually i don't you know lately with like marvel comics they have like i mean their newer art is just trash to me dude i don't i don't like the newer art you can tell it's like computerized but i got this because this is old school with the old school marvel logo and so if you look in the back it has all the old school drawings you know this is this is why I liked comic books. I love this art. That's why I got into comic books. So this is stuff I grew up with. So I definitely caught this, you know. It was real cheap. I got it for like, I got it at like Costco for like seven bucks. So I'm going to use this while I'm at school because I really like calendars. Calendars are legit. Um, I got two puzzles at the thrift store. Because I got them for like 50 cents. Um, I got a Garfield one. You know, growing up, I, I always had puzzles in, like, I had, like, a Ren and Stimpy Fire Dogs one. So I was like, why not? You know, I'm, I'm in Idaho, and I'm bored sometimes, so I just figure, you know, I just I just do some puzzles, man, you know? Instead of just, like, staying on the computer all day, playing video games, I figured, like, I'd do something constructive, like, something that makes me think, you know? So I got a Garfield one. And then I got an old-school Shaquille O'Neal one. Shaq Attack. It says 300 pieces, but I counted them, and it's like, and I counted 300 in like five, which is weird. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm, you know, honestly, I'm not a big fan of Shaq. Even back in the days of Orlando, I was, I'm never a fan of Shaq. I just don't like him, like, I don't know why, but I got it just because, I mean, it's old school, dude. Shaq attack and like his crazy, like, designs in the back. So, I got that. Um... I got this action figure at the thrift store, and um, it's a Dragon Ball action figure. It's all silver. Um, I believe it's Piccolo. Now, I'm not a big fan of Dragon Ball. You know, I know Dragon Ball was really popular when I was like in junior high and high school. Everybody loves Dragon Ball. Everybody loves it. It's not the fact that I don't. I don't hate it. I just was never into it, dude. I just I didn't see the really appeal of it, like. But, you know, I found this for a quarter, and it looked really cool, and I know who Piccolo is, so I was like, I'll buy it, dude. Who cares? So, I got this. I got Wizard on VHS. You know, once again, I really don't buy too many VHS tapes. You guys probably don't believe me, because every pickup now, I always have a VHS on it, but... I mean, all you guys, if you guys are into video games, you know what Wizard is, dude. I don't even gotta say nothing. I don't have to say much about this. You know, Fred Savage and his little brother, the wizard. I just watched this when I was a kid. It's a pretty cool movie. So I, I figured I'd get it on VHS just because, I mean, VHS was was what the main, like, media was for movies back when this movie first came out, so. Alright. Now there's only two more things. Two video games. One of them is not so rare and the other one is what I guess the epic one but let me show you the not so epic one but this one is actually one that I was glad I found like it's amazing because I <laughs> I was actually looking on eBay for this and um like this week I was looking I was looking through eBay I was like man I saw somebody else I don't know who it was but somebody else picked this game up and I was like man I really want that game I used to have this I mean I still have it but it's broken but I wanted it in the original case Everything. That is Battery into Shinden. I got it for three bucks. It is the original. It's not a greatest hits because the greatest hits one is, is like a it's just like a clear one. This one's orange. I do have the original one back at home, but it, it's broken. But this one looks like in really good shape. Um, this is actually one of my favorite games, fight, fighting games for the PS One. Believe it or not, and it's one of the first games too. I mean, it's a really good fighter. Like I'm not joking. Um, I don't know, I just really enjoy the music as well as the gameplay. 
It's just legit, dude. And I don't know. It's just I'm just so glad I found this junk, dude. Like, it's amazing. Sometimes I just think to myself, man, I wish I could find this game, like, at a thrift store. And I always end up finding them. Dude, I found so many games that I've wanted just in the thrift store, like. And it's funny, because I'll think about them, and then the next week I'll find them. It's just random. I'm not joking. I'm so glad I got this. You can even pop this game in a CD player, and you can actually hear the music, which is amazing. Alright. This is the epic find. Now, I mean, for a lot of people that like RPGs, you know, this is, this is a good one, I guess. Um, but yeah, let me just show it to you guys. It's um, Lunar Silver Star Story. I got it for $3. Okay, but the thing is, it's not, it's not complete. So, you know, I, I'm guessing with this game, you know, it always has like a cardboard covering, which it didn't have. This one does not have a manual, which I don't think goes inside this. I think it comes inside the, the cardboard thing. The discs are in really good condition. It's supposed to come with four discs, but this one is missing the third disc. It does have the, the making of Lunar, which I wish it didn't have this one in. Instead, it had the third disc, but, you know, whatever. Like, you can't really, like, wish for everything, right? So, um, I don't know. I guess it's cool. Like, I haven't looked it up on eBay, but, I mean, the case is cracked. The CDs are good. So, I mean... I mean, even though it's missing the third disc, do you think it's still a good pickup for three bucks? I mean, I think it is. I don't know what to do with it, honestly, because I don't like incomplete games in my collection. I mean, I could I could go and look for, like, the third disc on eBay. But, yeah, I found this. And it's funny, it was, this is the first thing I saw. It was just laying there. You know, I opened it up, and I knew it had, like, more than, like, a couple of discs. So I was like, I wanted to make sure the discs were in there. And sure enough, man, they didn't have the third one. And, like... Maybe it was in a thrift store somewhere. I don't know. But I wasn't going to go digging through all those CDs. And... So, yeah. Got this for three bucks. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do with it. Honestly. Should I just get the third disc? Or should I just sell this? Can I even sell this like this? I don't even know. But Yeah. That's it, guys. That, that's all my pickups. Um, you know, I was thinking... I just want to propose an idea to a lot of you guys, gamers. Um, like, since we're on YouTube, right, and we're like a community of like gamers. Um, you know, I was thinking, like, why don't, why don't we like create like a crew or like a group of like all of us? And what I was thinking, what we could do with that is like, just like create a T-shirt. And like you know, if you guys want one, you know, I could I can draw like I, I create logos. My friends, my friend actually makes T-shirts. Like he actually made this one. This is actually from his company. And what I could do is I could get suggestions from all you guys of what we should call it, and um, you know what the logo should look. And then like if you guys want, you know, I can get you a shirt with the logo on it for really cheap. And like we could all just like wear it. And I don't know, rep our crew or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like. Why not? Because, I mean, I've seen, like, some, some people on YouTube that have, like, their own little groups or whatever. And I mean, I'm not going to call it any names, but, like, the more higher ups or like, the one with, like, the most subscriptions. I mean, you guys know who they are with the gamers. I mean, everybody knows these cer certain people. But, like, it just seems like they only talk to each other. Like, they sure as hell wouldn't watch my videos because I guess I don't have enough subscribers or whatever. But, you know, they only talk among them four. <laughs> you know? Like, they'll come together and make their own things. I mean, I guess they're, like, the main, the most popular ones on YouTube, so they'll, they'll come together. But I'm saying, like, why don't, why don't we, like, all just get together and just create a crew? Like, and maybe in one of our videos, we could just wear the shirt and just, like, rep it. Be like, yeah, man, I'm part of this crew on YouTube. And, like, we could wear it, and why not? I think that'd be good. If you don't like the idea, well, fuck it, then. We won't do it. You know, even if there's one person that agree that wants to do it, then I'll just be in a crew with just one other person. You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares? But I think it'd be I think it'd be a cool idea. So I mean, what, just let me know what you guys think. Just leave comments on the bottom, and if you have any suggestions or whatever. If not, whatever. It's just an idea, man. Like I've been thinking a lot since I'm at school, and I have a lot of time to think, and it's really boring up here. And I can't wait till I go home, 
which will be in another week. So once again, guys, that was my pickups. That was my idea. Thanks for watching. Peace out.